Public Library in Kearney, Kearney, New Jersey. Welcome to my cooking show. Um, today's a cooking show, it's usually a cooking class, but because of the pandemic, we all want to stay safe, and, but we still want to uh, share with our community what we're doing at the Public Library. Uh, shout out to Josh, our director, awesome guy. Uh, I am making some Polish fritters today. So I have a recipe from this book, which I altered, but it's still good. And then all the recipe, all the items and ingredients that we're going to use for the recipe. So I have two cups of sauerkraut from this awesome place here in our community in Kearney called Another Mother. They're out in the, in the market right now, the farmer's market. They're our newcomers. And uh, so I have two cups of uh, homemade sauerkraut. Awesome. Tastes awesome. So head on over there and check them out. They're really good. They have pickles, all kinds of seasonings, sauces. But, oh, delish. So I recommend them. Hence, I'm using the sauerkraut. Okay. Now, so... I gave it a rough chop, okay? And this is one cup of flour. So we're gonna just basically mix all this in. We have a teaspoon of caraway seeds, a teaspoon of fresh thyme that I normally buy, and you know how you get a big bulk of it and you don't know what to do with it and you let it go bad or just, I dry mine in the oven. I don't turn the oven on, I just dry them. I put them in the rack and let them dry. And then I have fresh thyme, as opposed to from the bottle, I have it fresh. Thank you very much. So that goes in there. We have a teaspoon of baking powder, because I like my fritters fluffy. Thank you. So, and we're gonna put in an egg. I don't want any shells in here. And we have a cup of milk as well. Some salt and pepper. This is a cup of milk. I'm missing, by the way, I'm missing all of you ladies that usually come out to my cooking class at the library. I so miss you all. Just wanted to share that with you. I like to wash my hands when I deal with with eggs, just so that no cross contamination. Um, what else? Oh, a little bit of salt and pepper. Add your discretion. And a couple of times there on the pepper. And the salt, I like to, just like my oil, I like to measure my salt. So. Let me just uh, so this is less than it's a less than a teaspoon. Oh, it smells delicious. So the batter is looking delicious. Okay, that looks good. So now we have a beautiful mixture here going on and we're gonna drop some in. I have a quarter cup that I'm using to kind of give it all the same size, form and shape. And three at a time should be good enough. More than enough. And it smells wonderful.
I am going to make a nice little dip for the fritters, sour cup fritters, which will be sour cream, some lemon juice, and some fresh dill uh, that I, I'm gonna do a half a cup. That should work. I need another spoon, hold on folks. So I use a whole lemon for this. I think I am. We'll find out. I wish I did that my little. Oh, this has no seeds in it. I'm going to use a half a lemon because that lemon had a lot of juice. So, and I am going to use a little more. This is by I am just, I'm combining the flavors of Poe and they love their dill, their sour cream, and now it needs more salt. Yes. So there is our fritters, Polish fritters, uh, with sauerkraut and a sauerkraut lemon dill dipping for the sauerkraut fritters. See you next time, and thanks for stopping by.